My friends, it's Coach V. It's high noon. This video is for new dads. New dads out there. It's exciting, isn't it? It's amazing. It's incredible, but it's also very difficult. Lack of sleep, no focus, up at all hours, all these new stresses you didn't have before. So I thought I want to put together a special video for the dads to give you a boost of energy, give you focus, more flexibility, and of course to be a better father. If you'd like to have more videos like this, perhaps a whole series for dads, let me know in the comments below. Click that like button. Time is short. It goes very quickly. Give your body and mind what it needs. All right, enough talk. Get your mat. Let's go. Let's begin with child's pose poles. Take the knees wide, pressing back for just a moment. Everything is active. Everything is moving to give you that huge energy burst. Now, take the hands up to the corner here and pull back with the exhale. Let's elongate and lengthen the spine, pulling your tailbone back. Oh, did you hear that adjustment? And then other side, either hand on top and pull. Exhale back. Loosen up the shoulders, elongate the spine, decompress the spine side to side pull it back take the hands further forward if you wish a beautiful thing for your back and spine though again pull stretch it out pumping the breath into the body and let's do it one more time on each side Scoot it back. There we go. Stretch it out. And up, flowing through the movements. And stretch. Expand what you got, guys. All right, hands back to the center. Big hand. Inhale forward, modified plank. Exhale back, back and forth. Tuck the toes or keep the tops of the feet down. Elbows are in, shoulders are moving. You're just raring to go. Think of all the stuff you can do better after doing these flows. With me, that's right. Is the brim of my cap big enough? That's the real question. Stretch it back, stretch it back. Let's do it two more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Inhale forward. Lower down. Lengthen the legs back. Hands are on the shoulders. Cobra. Lifting up and flex the legs. Little leg curls here. Stretches your quads and your hamstrings and your lower back. Keeping your upper body tall. Good. Loosen up those areas. Keep them fresh. Keep them strong. Two more each leg. One. One. Two. Two. Cobra or press up into up dog. Shoulders back and down. Moving side to side. Massaging the shoulders and all the way down the back into your glutes. All right, pressing back. Let's do a dad shirt tuck here. Ho oh, ho, that's the way my dad would have done it. Let's switch the cap, get the sun out of the eyes. Downward facing dog. Pressing back, big classic yoga stretch. Many of us has done this before, no doubt. Let's sway back and forth. Press towards the heels, heels towards the ground. As you sway, give your sides and back some beautiful release. Exhale to the side, inhale, center. Good, get that stretch, get that movement, that blood flow. You see in this lats area right here, those big back muscles do so much work for us. And then moving into what I think is the pinnacle of mobility exercises, lunge with a twist. Take your right foot forward. Use your hands to bring it forward if you like. Drop the knee or extend that back leg. 
This hand is down. We're going to inhale, lift up, and keep this arm going. We're going to lift up. Now bend it and pull back so we get this added stretch in the chest, in the shoulder, and a twist. Arm back up. Set the hand down, step back to down dog. Other side, when you're ready, left foot comes forward. Do what you have to do, line up the knee and the heel. And here comes the arm, there's the twist, and then pull back, stretch. See what that does also, as your right knee comes down, your right leg's coming down, adding to that experience, ooh yes. And then arm up and over, back to down dog. Stretch it out. Feel the backs of the legs coming alive. Not just with Frampton, but alive where you are right here, right now. There's a twist and pull. Draw this elbow back. Draw it back. Stretch that back leg if that knee is off the mat. Got something very special happening here. And then arms up and over. Down dog. Okay, left foot forward. Twist. Oh, that shirt tuck better be good or we're in trouble. And pull. All the way back. There we are. Strong, evenly, evenly built body. That's what we're going for. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. But I do these stretches, I do these moves, and it comes together. Now step back to down dog into a down dog squat. Going to challenge our flexibility in our quads our glutes and the course, the strength. So bend the knees, press into your palms, stretch the back. A little pulsing there, inhale up slightly, exhale back. Remember modify as needed. You can always hold on to the child's pose or the down dog. Moving side to side in that squat. I'm a big stickler to go in and move those back muscles. Get them moving, get the blood flowing. This might look a little weird, but we all do it together. It looks like a bunch of people looking weird. But what is weird, really? I don't even know. This is great. I love it. Now, pop forward, bring that right foot forward. Find that lunge. The knee comes down, the back knee, and we have cactus arms. Take your arms back. Now lift up and pull the arms back. So you got a nice back bend happening here. You can also stretch that back leg, bringing the knee off the mat. Open, open, open. Take the arms behind you, lace the fingers, mudra. Stretching open the posture, the breath, the shoulders, the chest. All right, release. Step back, down dog, squat, back, stretch. Moving in that squat. Are you ready? Left foot forward. Boom, low lunge. And cactus arms, open up. So hinge the upper body forward as, or no, the lower body forward as the upper body lifts up and back. There we are. The biggest brim in town. When the arms can't go anymore, lace the fingers and open. Good, feel the breath coming in. Increase your breath capacity by about 30% by opening up the lungs opening up the chest. Release. Down dog squat. Press it back. Strong in the arms, strong in the legs. Now we're going to explode forward. Inhale forward. High push up. Plank. Keep pressing. Lower all the way down. As I always like to build in power yoga to these flows cobra or up dog. From either one, if you want to do those leg kicks, there they are, elbows in. Whew. Not for the faint of heart sometime, work your way up to these, but it loosens up so much in your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, Whew. keeping the posture tall on top. Whew. This is actually a little bit of a Pilates variation, exercise called single leg kicks that I'm bringing in here. I teach a lot of Pilates, I film a lot of Pilates. So check those out as well. You want to get to that optimal physical and mental performance. One more time, each like kick, kick. All right, press back, child's pose for just a moment. Stretch that spine. Should be feeling a lot looser by now. And that, my friends, is a huge win. It is for me when my son comes and he wants to wrestle or play or run. 
I make sure I stay very fit, very elastic, very pliable. All right, the merman. Merman. Right leg forward. Bend that knee, bend that back leg. Find that comfortable spot. Hold it here or add a pulse, either fingers down on the mat or fingers behind the head. You're gonna exhale, hinge forward, inhale, rise up, building a strong core as we open the hips. Four more. Inhale, lift. Lengthen, lengthen, rise up, shoulders back and down. Two more. Boy, does that feel swell. Swell. So is your old band. Inhale, lift. All right, let's switch to the other side. A little break dancing. Since becoming a dad, I have a lot of good dad jokes good dad references. <laughs> I won't ruin the video with those right now. Maybe if you want another one like this, let me know. I'll toss a few in. Now five times with the pulse. Find your progression. Keep it all together. Let it all hold together. The hip opening of the lower body, the lengthening of the spine, and the building of the core. Now three more. Strong backs. One more time. And rise up. Bring those legs around. Shake them out. Shake out the body. Shake out the arms. Shake out the legs. We get tight hamstrings. We get tight calves. Reach forward as far as you can. Calf, uh, shin, ankle, toes, and walk the legs. It might not look as smooth as this. Is this smooth? I don't know, it might look smoother, but that's why you practice daily, practice. You gotta do it. Do it for your loved ones, do it for those around you, for those who depend on you. Do it for everything. Shoulders back and down, strong in the posture. These flows teach great awareness of posture, keeping the shoulders back and down. Two more times each leg. One, one, two, two. All right. I like to say all right a lot. Come up, standing position. Options, we have a sumo squat. Turn the toes out. We're gonna work the legs, open the hips, hands on tops of the thighs. First progression right here. Movement as you see fit. Or you could go down into garland feet a little closer and we sink all the way down. Look at that string touching the mat. Magical. Hands together. Use the elbows to open the hips more. You could sway back and forth. But think of your tailbone right here. It's, it's going down. Going down into the ground. Got to talk them straight down to the ground. As we rock it side to side. We got to open the hips, open the legs, open the glutes, the lower back. The possibilities are endless, my friends. This is just a sampling of some of my favorites, too. There's always more to keep us tip-top shape. Three more breaths. I think every day must be filled with garland stretches like this when you get a chance. Even if you're not doing this flow, you have a little time, go down, do it for five to ten breaths at least. Feel that release, open up the hips, open up the body. Feel better, feel more capable. All right, side lunge, kick the leg out. Hands can stay down for support. Go as far as you can, opening this hip, this heel comes down. We have a side lunge right here. Fingers can stay down or work your balance. Find something to focus on, hands together. I can't guarantee I'm not gonna Roll backwards down into Lake Nishanik. Though it would make the video way more popular, I suppose. Let me scratch my ankle. Three more breaths. See, so working balance. You have core strength. You have the hips opening. Add some movement within. But there's always the focus I talk about. Focus throughout the day. 
Dads need focus. All right, back to Garland or the sumo. Let's see how that feels. Add a little movement. If you like, add twist. Bring the hand down or the forearm and reach up. It's an option. I like to add rotational movements to everything. Definitely strengthens our sides. All right, side lunge, other side. Find it, I'll find mine. Five breaths, my friends. Excellent. Bring it to downward facing dog. All right, finish it off, five breaths, giving yourself the ultimate stretch in the down dog, always powerful, swaying side to side. As you begin your day, full body mobility, flexibility, strength, focus. Dads, we need you, need you to be strong, need you to be able to move well, to have energy, endurance, and of course, that beautiful dad focus. My son comes alive when I focus solely on him. When I get down on his level and we play, we wrestle, we do whatever. We play games or we just laugh. We play hide and seek, but that is his favorite. Nothing can beat that. All right. Bring the knees down, shoulder rolls. Share this with a dad you know who needs uh, some more energy, needs a little help. And if this video helped, please click that like button. It helps the video get out to more and more people. It helps me tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. And click the notification bell up there to never miss one of my workouts. Three more shoulder rolls. And of course, let me know if you want more content for dads, for busy dads, for any kind of dad that wants to improve himself. <sighs> one more time. Lift and drop. Beautiful work, my friends. As always, Coach Vig. we'll see you around.